women, tighten your chastity belt and show this sex animal called man that you are not objects of pleasure. That sex is not a man's basic right. There is trouble beyond the Valley of the Dolls. Girls unite. Join the sexual revolution and be free. Yeah, free and lonely. <laughs> free and lonely is right. All oh, those women livers, where are they from? It must be the Victorian age. They're so anti-fun. I mean, I believe women should have basic rights, like 60% for women, 30% for men, and 10% for the other kind. I don't want to be equal. Who wants to compete with men? I have a hard enough time competing with women. Yeah, but Beth, you have to understand, you're the classic example of what a doll should look like. God, you're well-built, you're well-seasoned, reasonably bright. What do you mean, reasonably bright? Girl, I mean reasonably enough to know that it's all right being a wife doll mate. But housekeeping? Oh, that's absolutely unnatural. Girl, you could die at 40 from Ajax poisoning. Yeah, but think of all the loving up to there. Oh, you and your loving. I mean, an ever-loving man can't be all bad. They're not. An ever-loving man is good. He's very good. Especially when he's got his arms around an ever-loving woman. You know what that result is? Mm. They make the most beautiful Quincy Jones music together you have ever heard. Nature take its course, right? Heather, come on. I'm really serious. Oh, Bria. You know, you're really a beautiful person. And I'm sure that when you graduate medical school, you're going to save mankind. It's just that I have different plans for my fellow man. I don't want to save mankind. I just want to serve him. Well, let me put it this way. Consider the possibilities of getting mankind to serve you. psychology classes and believe me he was real cool until I found out he was married how'd you find that out oh he invited me to have lunch with him one day said he had somebody wanted me to meet so we went over to the student union and I met this sophomore model type you know with the long black hair down to here smoke camel cigarettes oh, oh mr. nice guy's wife huh yeah and after they sprung for a 35 cent hot dog and a 15 cent coke they invited me to have group sex oh come on all the loving couples bit right except the way they put it they felt that it would be an exceptional experience well or you certainly have come a long way hey hey how about a group sex clinic for people with hang-ups i mean we could answer all the forbidden questions like uh do i have to be over sex to participate is it expensive can anyone join what kind of people will i meet Will it interfere with my religious beliefs? Is it likely to wear me out or shorten my sex life? Or are you sure you can keep a secret? <laughs> Really, I always thought you were a liberal. Well, I am. Politically. 
everything. Yeah, in the wilderness. You know, super highways, campgrounds, ski lifts, restaurants, hot dog stands, giant parking lots and plush resorts. Well, I guess I'm just for satin sheets and dry martinis and paid vacations and lots of room service. No, Heather, I mean nature's natural beauty shouldn't be commercially exploited. We shouldn't rape the landscape. I don't want to rape anyone. You know, I once read this book about backpacking in the wilderness with a buddy. Male or female? Doesn't make any difference. It's the experience that counts. You know, you may be right. I haven't given any thought to the experience. I only thought it was important who you were with and where you were seen doing it. I guess I've just been too busy having a good time. Nothing wrong with having a good time. No. Or maybe there is, when you try too hard. Come on, we're going to be late. Just think of the Bree, your own farm system. Listen, Bria, you better watch your step. I hear those little monsters burn their last counselor at the stake. Oh, come on. It's going to be a great summer. We'll all be up there together. And Lake Arrowhead won't be the same when we're through with it. Hey, listen, you're all invited to stay at my place. Sorry. Beautiful Camp Wenatchee is arranged for my own private pup tent. I even get time off for good behavior. And we have a wholesome threesome going. Carla, Nick, and I. Who is Nick? Ah, oh, he's some guy I picked up on. Sort of a cross between Truman Capote and Steve McQueen. And he also happens to be the ski instructor up at the lake. So you see, well said. Anyway, you have a whole house full of relatives. Mm -mm, just one. I'm babysitting for my little cousin this summer. I haven't seen her in ages. Yeah, well, while you're warming her milk and tucking her into bed each night, you just think about your closest friend in the arms of some... Mm, Dynamite cat having her body coerced with kisses, letting out cries of ecstasy and moans. Oh, let's hear it for the moans of the light. Wishing all the time you were there. Some friend. What are friends for if you can't even discuss sex? Sex is a biological urge triggered by hormones secreted by your gland. Oh, that's beautiful, Bria. Really romantic. And sex can be demonstrated, categorized, identified, measured, promoted like popcorn or mouthwash. But while we're making love, commonly called having sex, we shall not forget our best friend's loneliness. I know. We'll write her name in men's rooms. Or how about a big sign that reads, Last Girl Before Freeway? Oh, yeah! Well, listen, gang, if I get too lonely, I can always advertise in Playboy. Playboy? Playboy. I know you got to go and find you in. Settle something for me. Like what? Well, my friend Warren, I bet him that anybody as beautiful as you had to be some sort of a celebrity. Mm -mm. What did Warren say? He said any girl with a fantastic body like yours had to be an athlete. Mm -mm. I've led a very sheltered childhood. My name's Larry. Larry Gordon. Heather Brent. I'm sorry, I lost your bet. It was worth it. I met you today. Okay. Hi. Hi. Where's the action? Don't know yet. Hey, listen, have you seen Bria? Oh, Bria. I'd like to see Bria. Lying naked on an oriental rug with her arms reaching out for my passionate, throbbing body. Andy. No, I haven't seen him. You want a drink? Yeah, thanks. 
<clears throat> you know I'm worried about you, Andy. Do you ever think of anything but sex? No, I don't think so. You know, sometimes I wished my mother would have dressed me up funny so I could have grown up to be a homosexual. <sighs> a homosexual? Why? Just think of it. Then I wouldn't have to think about girls. Oh. I know you got to go. Hi, group. Hi, Bria. Hi, Bria. I am ready for a big night. Let me tell you, a big night to her is sliding down the Matterhorn at Disneyland. Hey, Bria, you want a drink? Uh, uh, I think it's a Singapore sling. I'm surprised at you, Andy. You know Bria has no vices. Well, I acquired a couple. You better be careful, because Andy here just had you naked on an Oriental rug. If I go on, I may lose a beautiful friendship. Well, my good buddy, I have come here tonight to invite each and every one of you to a small gathering of my medical friends. It will be an evening of easy virtue. Plenty of booze, lots of eligible men. Oh, I like it. It will be an orgy that will be long remembered. Yeah. <laughs> At least she won't cheat on me. I will always know where she is. You know, I don't know if it's a boy skeleton or a girl skeleton. What does it matter? I love you. Kiss me. Are you sure you two've never played the doctor-nurse game? <laughs> no, but I was in a hospital once. Well, I'm going to be the doctor, and you two will be the nurses. Cool. What's the prize? The nurse that does the most for the doctor will get something she'll never forget, OK? <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> it's not often that I, that I meet someone that I can talk to. <laughs> I mean, Someone that I can look up to and find mutual interest and respect. Someone that truly in a short lifetime wants to spend a moment or two with me. It's your move. Move? The chess game, Professor. Oh, yes, of course, my dear. Do you really think American chess players are superior to the Russian players. Of course, summer camp is a nice place to meet people. Did you like going to camp? Mm. <laughs> That's where I first met Warren. <laughs> Warren's a very sociable fellow. Yeah. <laughs> you and I used to share a bunk bed. I was on top. You were on top. Everything was all right till the whole, whole bed started shaking. <laughs> Earthquake? No. Every night when the lights went out, Warren started beating his putt. Beating his putt? <laughs> yeah. One night he was so damn bad, the whole cabin started shaking. I counted 20 guys beating their putt. Warren, you might have gone blind. Really? <laughs> I mean, when you really get down to it, how much time do we have? I imagine. Just imagine that you and I were the last man and woman on earth. Ah, uh, that's heavy. <laughs> wow, that's a heavy mind buster. <laughs> By the way, what was your name? Arthur. Oh, of course, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, Andy. You look as happy as a hypochondriac at a medical convention. Hey, Bria, come on in. I'll make you chief nurse. No, thank you. I think you have your hands full, doctor. Now, all together, say, ah. Ah. good. Look, I won't do it if you don't want me to. I mean, some girls like it and some don't. After all, it's your year. Honey, nobody's ever asked me before. They just went ahead and did it. Well, I was gonna just do it. I would have, but Warren and I respect you. That's nice, but Warren has very cold hands. You know, I think the three of us are going to be very happy. 
I, I think I love you. Sweetheart, I'm just not your type. Oh, no. No. No? Let's see the one over there? Over there, yes. Yeah. Where? There. Much better. Right there. I think I love you. <laughs> Mickey, I'm telling you, you are what you eat. So you really think that you can beat me? Absolutely. Now, if I win, what do I get? <laughs> what do you want? You go to bed with me tonight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's the bed. Hey, Carla, come on. We got a contest. Not this one contest, pal. <laughs> Listen, you gotta hear this. You know egomaniac Mickey, right? Yeah. Well, he's gonna have a sit-up contest with Bria, and if he wins, he goes to bed with her tonight. But if she wins, she's gonna shave him bald. <laughs> shave him bald? <laughs> that poor guy. Doesn't he know she can do at least 200, not even get winded? Well, he's sure gonna find out. Come on, let's go! I gotta see this. Come on. Professor, are you okay? Totally in control, my dear. Totally in control. Hang loose, big boy. Hang loose. 65. 66. 67. Hey, is anybody taking bets on this? What's your point? I got 20 that says Bria wins. You're a cover. Hey, Carla, you with me? Sure, go. We split. Okay. Hey, anybody else? I got five. You're on. Got You're got on. Five. Oh, that's fantastic. Come on. Heather, mm -hmm. just being close to you is turning Warren and I on. Mm, that's nice, but I wish I could find a way to turn Warren off. Why don't we go over to your house, and uh, we'll have a night that you won't forget, I promise you. Me, you, and Warren. Warren! Do it, girl, do it! Maria, don't you let us down, girl! you girls that there'd only be one winner, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you want some milk and cookies or uh, Coke or something? Oh, no, thanks. Wow. Oh, your place is beautiful. Honey, you're just going to have to excuse me. I keep seeing you in pigtails and braces. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Well, it's been five years since we've seen each other. 
I really appreciate you asking me to spend my vacation with you. Don't you think it's about time we got together again? This summer is going to be fantastic. I mean, I hope I never forget it. Best boy used to go with to have me home by 12. Fine. So we go out to the dune buggy races, way out in the desert, miles from everything, and everybody goes home. Well, guess what happened? He, he ran, ran out, out of gas. gas. Oh, really? <laughs> no, really. Uh. So there's poor Daddy sitting home alone waiting for me on the front porch, and I don't show up. Well, let me tell you, he had everybody but the Foreign Legion out looking for me. He had the State police, the local police, the fire department, the dog catcher. <laughs> oh, Paula. Are you comfortable? <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, I guess this is your place. Yes, this is my place. Hey, look, I'm, I'm really sorry. I was hiking all night and I was just looking for a place to crash for a couple of days. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like you to leave. Like I said, I'm sorry. Don't you have any place to stay? No, I don't have any place to stay. I'm a little short, you know, but I am looking for work. And listen, you could probably use a guy like me around here. Um, I could chop some more wood for you, open the house up. A lot of things. I'm a good handyman. Why not, Heather? He could chop some more wood for us, and there's lots of things to do around here. Couldn't we use some help, even if it's only for a few days? Well, I suppose we could try it out and see what happens for a few days. Fantastic. Thanks. Listen, you can bunk back there. It's not the Holiday Inn, but at least we'll keep the rain off. After you put your stuff away, get our luggage out of the car. Thanks again, Miss, uh... Miss Brent. Paula, come on. Don't you want to see the inside of the house? Hey, roommate, you want to ride the village? Nick, I don't have to be at work till noon. Good, why don't I stay home till noon, then we can... Uh... <laughs> Nick Jensen, you are an evil man. You gonna be late? Sure would be fun, though. <sighs> okay. You can tell when I'm not wanted. See you later, okay?
I'm Bria Stone, the camp nurse. Hello, Miss Stone. Oh, you boys just call me Bria, okay? Sure thing, Bria. My name is Aaron. This is my friend, Harold. You boys up here for two weeks or the whole summer? The whole summer. I bet you. Summer. The whole summer. Hey, that's great. This is my second year here, Bria. The nurse we had last year sure wasn't as pretty as you are. She was a real dog, you know? Forget it. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Were you up here last year, too? Uh, no. Well, hope you guys have a nice time. If there's anything I can do for you, my office is right up there. You bet, Bria. Nice meeting you, Harold. See you, Aaron. See ya. Boy, is she built like a brick shit house. What? A brick shit house? What's the matter with you? You can't be all that dumb. No, I'm not that dumb. Boy, would I like to make it with her. What would you do? Take her for a coke? No, you idiot. Take her for a walk in the woods. Then I'd make mad, passionate love to her. Are you a dreamer? I am, huh? How many women do you think I've been with? I don't know. Oh, come on. How many would you say? Take a guess. Counting your mother and your sister? No, not counting my mother and my sister. Let me tell you, smartass, I've been to bed with lots of girls. My mother and my sister? I'll see you later, okay? Yeah. Okay, now, Alice, now keep your knees bent. That's it. And just relax and let the water do the work for you. Bounce? That's it. Yeah, just relax. Got it? Getting it. Did you get the idea, Alice? I think so, finally. <laughs> good. <laughs> hey, Nick? Huh? Who is that good-looking guy in the boat? I don't know. Uh, Lee. Lee something. Oh, I know. Lee Kingman. Yeah? What do you know about him? Not much. Some rich dude just separated from his wife. Why, are you interested? No. Just curious, lover boy. Get that out. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Can I do something for you? You already have. I'll just bet you were looking for the sensuous man, right? Well, no, I was liking, uh, looking for a copy of Dr. Stillman's Water Diets. Why don't you try the index cards? Why not? Can I have you something? You sure turn that poor old man on. <laughs> the story of my life. I always turn on the poor ones, never the rich ones. <laughs> what can I do for you? Now or tonight? Now. Well, now I'm looking for something on Picasso. Life? His works? His works. I'd like to see some of his early paintings. Okay. See what we can find. <sighs> Picasso, huh? Um, here we are. Have your card? Oh, sure. Uh, is this your steady job now, or are you just up here for the summer? Oh, just for the summer. I'm a student. How about yourself? No, I live here year-round. Must be beautiful up here in the winter. Get much snow? Oh, yeah, it's something else. Yeah? Family up here, too? No, they live in the city. Said you were a student. What's your major? Anthropology. Oh, wow, that's a deep one, huh? Well, not all the time. But I do find the study of man very stimulating. <laughs> I just bet you do. I guess you've been told you're a very pretty lady. Hey, how would you like to go out tonight? 
Uh, I, I hardly know you. That's okay. I just want to make new friends. <laughs> um, well, I gotta go now. Um, by the way, what's your name? Carla. Carla Welsh. And yours? Mike. Mike Black. You're putting me on. Hi. How are you feeling? <laughs> okay. Must happen at least ten times a day. <laughs> I really thought you had it for a minute, the way you hit the water. No. Well, look, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, my name is Lee Kingman. Hi, Lee. Beth Michaels. If you're not doing anything, Beth, how about a drink? Sure, I'd love to. So I told her, I've had it. And she left. Do you miss her? No way. I got tired of playing babysitter, you know what I mean? Yeah, I sure do. I used to go with this guy, and every time he had a problem, he'd come knocking at my door. Sure got to be a drag. Do you have any children? Oh, yeah. I have a son. He goes to military school. They're gonna make a man out of him. Speaking of men, you're not married or anything, are you? Oh, no. <laughs> Can't find the right man. Well, I'm a man. And I find you very attractive. Thank you. Look, honey, I suppose I'm kind of barging in on you, but... Would you have dinner with me tonight? Just you and me. I'd love to. Don't you like me anymore? You're the salt of the earth. <laughs> hey, what do you say we wheel back to L.A.? This fresh air is killing me. No, I don't want to go back to the house again. Honey, it's not right we let Joe drive back by himself. So who said he's going back by himself? Hey, wait a minute. I wheeled up here with you. I'm wheeling back with you. Joe? Yeah. How much you give me for? Shh. I'm not a buck and a half. So. <laughs> oh, slave! Hey, listen, I thought I was with you. You can't treat me like that! Now, baby, why don't you bug off? We had some good times. You were good while you lasted. Now it's all over. I pass. Now, you be a good girl. You go with Joe. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in L.A. Hey, what about that dollar fifty? You can owe it to me. You know your trouble, Sots? You love yourself too much. You're wrong! Because I'm not even good enough for me. God damn it! Why don't you get off my back? Why don't you start acting like a husband? Stop messing around with all those foxy ladies. Why don't you? Drop dead. That'd be nice for you, wouldn't it? Hey, why don't we sell tickets to your fights? We'd make a fortune. You see, Martin, is that any way to talk to me in front of our son? Arnie understands. He knows that married people have arguments, don't you, son? No, I don't understand. It's the same thing every day. You fight and you fight. And you're tearing my insides out. You stop talking like that, Arnold, or I'll smack your mouth. Mother, don't call me that, ever. My name is Arnie. Arnie! Arnie! I, I, I can't even have my friends over. You two would probably start a fight right in front of them. Where are you going? I'm going to the dance. Well, you get in early. This is a family. You two must be kidding.
Okay. Okay, Arnie, you take it easy, all right? See you later. Hi. Mike Black, right? Right. This is Nick Jensen. How you doing? Hey, don't you work up here? Yeah, I'm a ski instructor. Hey, that must be a great life. It is. Hey, come on, let's dance. Oh, no. Uh, you don't mind, do you? No, go ahead. Go okay. ahead. Honey. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How would you like to take a spin on my bike? Your what? How would you like to take a ride on my motorcycle? Too dangerous. Besides, I hate motorcycles. I've got to go home. Hey, Beth, have you seen Carla? Yeah. She told me she was leaving and she'd see me later. Something the matter? Something's always the matter. I just want to have a little fun.
No, that's not necessary. I think he's gone now. I just live up the road and I can be home in no time. Thanks for everything. I'm sorry. She had over a hundred stab wounds in her body. Heather, you better take her home. She's pretty shook up. Mike, this is just crazy. Who would do something like this? Yeah, it's crazy. Somebody's out of their mind. Hey. Hey! You are not my father, my husband, or my keeper. I do what I want when I want to do it. I thought we had something going. Say, say, you. You thought we had something, but it's over. Over! Just like that, it's over? Just like that. Look, can you dig where I'm coming from? I am free, black, and very independent. And no man, no man is going to tie a can onto my tail. Well, he must be some kind of lover. Happens to be he's some kind of a man. Do you always swim nude? Yeah, why not? Well, it could be embarrassing. To who? Me or to you? Certainly not to me. You know something? <laughs> You're really a beautiful person. Except that you try to act like something else. Not natural, not yourself. So now you're the psychologist? No, just a man when you're a woman. And I think you'd like to be treated like one. Not some uh, queen of the hill. But it is my hill. I own it. Sure you own it. You own lots of things. Sort of a crutch. You see, I can leave your hill anytime I want to. I'm not stuck with it. And I'm not stuck with you either, am I? You know, it'd be good for you just to lie right here in the mud and get your ass dirty. <clears throat> well, could have been interesting. Gee. This is the first time I've ever been served by a naked waiter. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> to us. Love. You know, I think I'm falling in love.
Yeah, Mom, I have plenty of socks. I'm taking my vitamins every day. No, I don't have a cold. Mom, I'm fine. No, don't send any more clothes. I've got plenty. Mom, it's summer. I have blankets if I need more. Come on, Mom. I love you, too. Bye. Yes, Mom, I ate all my spinach. No, Mom, I haven't went to bed for two days. Yes, Mama, I love you, Mama. Hey, what's going on here, boys? Harold. Leave me alone. Hey, don't let him get you down. Look, they're just trying to be big men at your expense. I don't like it. Aaron's supposed to be my friend. Well, he's nothing but a wise guy. Well, why don't you beat him up? Step on his head, break his fingers. He can meet some ground glass. <laughs> Look, you could, you could run over him with a tank. I know. I'll put an atomic bomb under his bunk. Now you got the idea. <laughs> but don't let him get you down. I know. I guess it's my mom's fault. She's just worried about you. If she was so worried, she wouldn't send me here. Well, mothers sometimes don't understand. But I do. You do? Oh, Heather. It's just like old times, isn't it? You're as good as you were when you were 16. Marty, you're a son of a bitch. I know. But it's always been that way between us, hasn't it? You need me. I need you. Whenever you've wanted a real man, I've always been there, eh? It's our little secret. You just don't want to admit it. Go to hell. Well, you are a pretty thing, aren't you? That's what my daddy tells me. Make sure you always listen to your daddy. Lee, I want to talk to you. About what? About things. What things? Things. Just things. Things like where you're from. Do you have any brothers and sisters? What do you do for a living? You know, do you like football? Just things. Okay. I was born in St. John's Hospital in Denver, Colorado. My family moved to California when I was six. I have one brother and two sisters, and I am an architect, and a very good one. And I love football. And my favorite team is the Oakland Raiders. And I get turned on looking at beautiful blondes. Is that all you want from me? I don't even know you or anything about you. God, Lee, it means something to me. Jesus Christ, I just gave you my life history. I mean, what the hell is this, the third degree? Are you a cop or something? No, I'm a woman and I want to be treated like one. As a lover, you're great. As a man, you're not making a thing. Look, I'm sorry. I'm trying to treat you like a woman. Be patient with me. Don't be mad. You just don't understand. I understand.
you get that? In the house. In the house, just like that. Well, who the hell gave you permission to go into my house? Don't get so excited. It's no big deal. You walked in and just took that, right? Well, who the hell do you think you are? Heather. You are to stay out of my house unless I ask you in. Do you understand that? You are going to be just like your father, Arnold. Stay out all night, play around with all the young girls. And who cares about me? I'm the one who does all the work around here. I take care of the hotel, I sweep up the floor and clean up the messes. Oh, I'm sick of it. And of you. You and your father. You're like the Don Juans of Arrowhead. Will you clean up this place? Okay, Mother. Okay. Okay. I told you he was no damn good.
I called San Bernardino. Homicide is sending some men up. Anyone know her name? Diane, that's all I know. She was just learning how to ski. Any identification? A wallet or something? Not that I know of. You'd want to kill a kid like that, Sam. I don't know. But whoever it was is one hell of a good shot. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Hi. Anything I can do for you? Um, I'm looking for a certain kind of book. Well, we have all kinds of books. Anything in particular? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm looking for a book on sex. Sex? Uh, I gotta make up a term paper for school. You know? You look like you could write your own book on that. Yes, I guess I could. But, but this is the uh, highly technical side. You understand? Sure, sure. Let's see. We have everything you ever want to know about sex, the sensuous man, the biological urge, how to succeed in marriage. Which one do you want? I'll take them all. All I can say is that's going to be some term paper you're going to write. Will you look at those tits? She is beautiful. Who would I like to have her in this act? Come on over, Harold. You gotta see this. I want to. What's the matter, you chicken? Maybe, but at least I'm not a peak freak. What's the matter, you queer? Show you who's queer. Excuse me. Have you seen Arnie? He was supposed to meet me here. Who are you? My name's Paula. We have a date. I have no idea where he is. Will you tell me something? What kind of a girl picks up a boy? Hi, Paula. Hi. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No. Shall we go to the dance? Let's just go for a walk, okay? Sure. Fine. Just like his father. You know, I like the nighttime. When it's dark. You can sit out here and imagine almost anything. I guess you can. It's really quiet. I, I know, but I thought we could talk. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Anything. Everything. You and me. You know, I think you're a very beautiful girl, Paula. I think you're a really nice boy. I'm not a boy, Paula. I'm a man. You, you're not the first girl I've brought up here. Oh, really? I suppose you've had tons of experience. I've had a lot of girls. I know what girls like. Do you want me to show you? I don't know. You're really coming on. You want to kiss me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Someone tried to kill us. Over there. Heather! Heather. Heather, are you all right? Heather, are you all right? Heather, did you get a good look at him? Heather, Heather, did you get a good look at him? Hey, where are you going? 
Nowhere in particular. Thought I'd go into town. I'll give you a ride. Thought I'd look around. You know, sightsee. Uh, look. Since today's my day off, we could do it together. Would you like that? Who wouldn't? Sure, sounds like fun. Great, hop in. Lee, I spoke to Heather this morning, and she invited us to a party tomorrow afternoon at the country club. Well, I told her I was going to ask you, but I was sure it would be all right. Listen, where do you meet Carla? You've She's got it all the... figured out, haven't you? What are you talking about? Sweetheart, just because we made love, it doesn't mean we have to pick out furniture. I didn't mean anything, Lee. I just wanted my friends to meet you. Look, something came up. I have to take off this afternoon. I'll call you, okay? You'll call me? Yeah. We'll have dinner sometime, you know? A few drinks. Well, it seems our relationship has come to a bloody end. Tell me, Mr. Kingman, how was I? Oh, come on, Beth. You're a big girl now. We made it together, and that's it. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm a real dummy. You know, I believe the things that you told me. I thought that you might, just might have been different. You believed what you wanted to believe. Look, baby, it was you who wanted to find a big summer romance. So you could spend all winter telling the girls what a ball I was. So you got me all figured out. Well, let me give you some advice. The next time you wake up in some guy's bed, don't nail him to the cross. It never works. Well, the next time I fall in love, I'll have it all straightened out before we have sex. Or should I do it your way? Oh, can I drop you someplace? No, thanks, pal. I think you just did. Yeah, well, I'll call you. We'll have those drinks. Now, you take care, huh? It's been fun. Hello? Oh, hi, Heather. What you doing? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Hi. Be with you in a minute. The country club? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey. And just what can I do for you, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome? <laughs> well, I was just driving by, and I thought I'd stop in and tell you how much I love your body. Oh! And what else do you love, Officer Mike? Well, I love your mind, your very soul. Enough to know that I can never live without you. This is it for me, baby. I'm going to join the Foreign Legions. I am a ruined man. Mm -hmm. Well, just what can I do to unruin you? Well, the only thing that you can do to cure me is to come to my apartment. Mm -hmm. And we make love again and again and again. And <laughs> okay, okay. You win. Listen, let me ask you a question. How would you like to take me to a party at the country club? I'd love to take you anywhere. What do you say we start with my place? You bring the booze, I'll bring the body. And what about the love? Mike, will you stop kidding? I have to go. Hey, hey, who's kidding? I'm serious. Mike, I've got... Mike, Mike, Mike. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Paula. Have you seen her? Uh, I don't know. I think she left maybe about an hour ago. Go down to the dock. Thank you, anyway. It's okay.
Brea, is Carla there? Uh-uh, I haven't seen her, and I've been in the house a couple of hours. Oh. Well, listen, when you see her, tell her that Nick and I are here getting bombed. And we're going to drink margaritas until the bartender raises the Mexican flag. And then I think I'll go drown myself. Beth, there's something wrong. Are you all right? <laughs> what could be wrong? Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Mm. Y'all set? Yeah, um, could you tie this for me? Sure. What's the matter? I guess I'm a little nervous. I mean, I do this for my sister all the time, but she isn't as big as... <laughs> I mean, you're beautiful. Harold... What if we didn't go back to camp tonight? I mean, what if I call him? Call? After we go swimming, we could have dinner and watch TV and... Would you like that? <laughs> call them. Oh, son of a gun! Who wouldn't? Okay. Okay. Done. My cleaning needs to be picked up. Hey, listen, why don't you pile that a little more neatly? You made an awful mess the last time. What are you doing? You take a lot for granted. told never to come into this house again unless you were asked. Now get out! Listen, I said get up, put one foot in front of the other and get out of my house! Look, you son of a bitch! Just shut up! You move out of that spot and I'm gonna bust your tail. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Don't you understand anything? You've had so much for so long, you don't know what's real anymore. You've so protected yourself that, that nobody's going to get through to you. I know you're afraid. Because we're all afraid. But it's okay, really. Sure, there's hurt and pain. But there's love, too. And they're all different kinds of love. Listen, Heather. The more real you are with people, the more real they're going to have to be with you. Don't be afraid of life. Trust someone. Trust me. Don. Do I really seem that way to you? Yes. But I don't want to. I really don't want to. We'll just open up. Just let someone in. Sleep. Did you have a nice day? Best day I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, I was just thinking if Aaron and those creeps could see me now. <laughs> are you going to tell them? No way. Let them think what they want. Besides, nothing happened. No, it didn't. Yes. If 
very pretty. You're beautiful. Thank you. We won't forget each other. Bria. What? I've never made love with a woman before. You are now, Harold. Listen, woman, I got a deal for you. Mm, I don't know about your deals. No, what I was going to say was, uh, six months out of the year, you come up and live with me, and six months out of the year, I'll come and live with you. Why, you little dickens, you. That's no deal, that's a proposition. Yeah, I know. Stay away from you. She said you were no good. Well, maybe she's jealous. I've known Heather since she was a little girl. Grew up around here. Her father was an old friend of mine. Doesn't having a relationship like that bother you? What bother? What could be more fun than making love to beautiful young girls? Heather's never complained to me yet. I guess most young girls have a father complex. I like making it with an older man. <laughs> what about your wife? Does she know about all your bad habits? Uh, Sylvia does put up with a lot. She needs me. I guess when a woman gets to be her age, she grows insecure. Not much to offer anymore. But she loves me. What kind of a jail sentence do you think you can get for contributing to the delinquency of a minor? Well, all I can tell you is I think your cousin's gonna go home a little older and a little wiser. Just as long as she doesn't go home a little pregnant. Mm. Like your father, Arnold. Play around with all the young girls. Who cares about me? Don't you love your mother? Don't you love your mother? Arnold. Arnold!
Oh, my God, Arnie. You're going to be just like your father, Arnold. Play around with all the young girls. Who cares about me? Arnold, don't you love your mother? Oh, I wish you were dead. I wish you were dead. I wish you were dead. Well, gang, after a wild summer of romance, mystery, and a whole lot of excitement, I think I'm just about ready to hit the books. Hey, Paula? I'll tell you one thing. Hobbs, New Mexico will never be the same. <laughs> this is one vacation I'll never forget. Oh, it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Bria, remind me sometime to ask you about that little old boys camp. What'd you call it? Wenatchee. Wenatchee. Camp Wenatchee. And if I told you, Carla, you would never believe it. So I thought I'd title the book, How Much Mischief Can a Girl Get Into If She Really Tries? What do you think? Well, I think we had enough experiences this summer to write ten books. Yeah, but have we really suffered? Yes, we have. Let's get this show on the road. Crazy, let's get it. Oh. Oh.